Hey, what's up guys? So we're gonna do a longer video today. Like a really long video. I have no idea how long this is gonna be. Um, I guess we'll find out in the end. But today I'm gonna go over every single mechanical watch that I have to date. And uh, this is gonna be a doozy. I'm gonna try my best to edit very well and probably do a voiceover or something like that. So uh, let's uh, get into this. Let's go. Now the main reason this watch is up first is because this, if you can see it, was my very first mechanical watch. And I'm going to show you some photos of it and a video of the movement and stuff. So I'll uh, get to doing the voiceover very quickly. And I'll kind of give you a little bit more background on it and why I love it so much and what I've actually done to change it from the original state. Um, so here we go. So first off, I wanted to do, move all this shit out of the way. I wanted to go over this guy. This one is a relic skeleton. This is an automatic timepiece. This is a skeleton watch with a beautiful deployant clasp, beautiful black leather. And I, I will admit I need to get larger leather size thingy boppers. Um, however, we'll go over that at the end. This is mineral crystal mineral crystal this has a three day power reserve i believe but it is a relic skeleton doll watch and it cost me a hundred dollars Up next is another relic skeleton, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, I love automatic watches, and by now you should know that. Ironically, I'm wearing a quartz watch because I'm showing you all the mechanical watches now. So far, I hope how you like it. I'm going to throw a little bit of music in the background. This is my first time actually throwing music in a video. Hopefully, I don't get like copyrighted or some shit. Um, so let's move on to the next relic skeleton watch. And there's a cool meaning behind the colors. Why the black and gold? Now, really, there's no reason why I got it in black and gold. It was just the one that I saw and the one I bought. And coincidentally, a few years later, about four years, some odd years later, I got into high school and lo and behold, the colors were black and gold. Now, that's kind of neat because of my high school colors now and it was perfect for black and gold Fridays. And really any spirit wear, I counted eventually if the watch was the right color. Uh, I learned that throughout freshman year, and that's how I got through senior year. So that is a pretty cool watch. I need to wear it more often. I really don't wear it all that much because I got, you know, a million other watches to worry about. And this sometimes just maybe just need a little more wrist time after I get it serviced. So the first three watches I'm going to show you need a service desperately. Now the rest are just going to be in the order of whatever's in the box. You know what? I'm going to choose it. It's a random order. How about that? So here's a few shots of close-ups and some stills of this watch. So, I got this watch when I was doing my eighth grade, um, eighth grade trip, but I didn't go with the school to the eighth grade trip. And so I pretty much went with my mom to see the whole East Coast, um, East Coast, just making sure, East Coast, and we went up all, all those fun bits. And I need, I wanted to get a skeleton watch and I was still fairly new to the wristwatch game. And so I bought this 
Actually, no, I bought a watch before this that was the coolest thing ever. Um, I forget what it looks like, but in the end it just didn't work. So I got uh, this bad boy. This um, was from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania came here and it's got the exact same stuff as the, uh, the other guys you'll see in the close-ups and stills that are coming to you right now. Now a blast from the past, I may say, because this was part of the Soviet war. That was a really fucked up thing to say, but blast from the past, I guess, in a different sense. This is from the 60s. So in 1969, they created this model. Now this is a 286-599, like the Ferrari 599. You can see that engraved there. This is a very simple watch. Uh, I got this off of eBay for about 15 some odd dollars and it's a really good watch it is mechanical hand wind um it's just a good vintage watch it took two months to arrive i got it from ukraine they shipped it all the way from ukraine which i found pretty cool um yeah but this is a neat little guy you can just wear it anytime also i took this to italy if you guys remember from that youtube short took this bad boy to italy and it was a nice little watch. It wasn't too eye-catching and made me miss all my other watches, uh, of course. So I had to buy a few that you'll see kind of towards the end of today's video. However, this today, as in my current today, not the day you're going to see this, is coming to an end. I'll do one more watch and then I will resume this possibly in the morning. This may take quite some time to do. But... So yeah, that's this. This is a really cool watch. You've seen this all over. 22,000 some odd of you. Yeah, 22,000 of you have seen this watch. Alrighty. So cool. On to the next, which will be my choice, which one shows up. So it could be a cool one. It could be a shitty one. You never know. Alrighty, so today, the final watch of, well, actually, tonight, um, I'm going to show you one of the big boys, like a chunky thick with two C's, boys. Um, and you've seen this from my last, my short before the short I did, yes, yesterday, because I'm trying to think of it. Technically, it was today, but tomorrow you'll see the video. Um, actually, maybe I can go for a little longer. But it's, you've seen this one from the shorts, and you guys had a good reaction to it, so uh, let's see which one it is. Alright, now that we've revealed what watch it's going to be, we're going to make this three or four part series, so... Today is the end of part one. Tomorrow, we will go over the Reef Tiger Aurora Tanks 2. Good night, guys.